When Equity Bank and the National Oil Company signed this memorandum of understanding, it was partly to the effect that Uganda SMEs in the oil and gas sector might have access to Equity Group $6 billion African Recovery Fund. Our participation and proposal is on twofold. The first one is to build capacity in citizens themselves so that they can be able to participate effectively. The second one is to fund them. Once they have the capacity, we then fund them to effectively participate. And the third one, and maybe most significant, is to ensure oil is integrated with the other sectors. To have financial products that are going to be tailored for the SMEs, then so much the better. We'll have the local companies ably participate in the contracting process and seize the opportunity. This was on the sidelines of this year's oil and gas convention now on in Kampala. As a balance sheet of uh, $13 billion growing at a compounded growth rate of 28%. So it means that FAD will continue growing. Every three years, the FAD is doubling. So we'll be talking of $30 billion on the fourth year. But this is a development that will span maybe five or six years, the development phase. So that FAD can rotate 10, 20 times because if you are given a contract, we FAD you today, within 90 days, you are paid. Equity Bank has stepped up to other earlier proposals in the banking sector in an increasingly growing appetite for oil-related projects with up to $4 billion in contracts to date approved for the development stage by the government. Betty Ndagiri, NTV Business.